What the fuck? It's water? Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be reviewing a full face of Huda Beauty products. Now, this has never happened to me ever in my whole years of doing reviews where I tried out products and it was just back to back to back where they just weren't working out for me. Um, you guys saw a little sneak peek, but... Yeah, this is going to be a really, really interesting review. I am also giving away this palette at the end of the video. All you have to do is turn on my post notifications and comment when done and you'll be entered to win. And if you want to double enter, all you have to do is comment on my Instagram that you turn on my post notifications and I'll be looking on both pages. But y'all, I'm shook. I just want to go ahead and dive into this review so y'all can see the tea about the products. So yeah. Uh, do not forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started. It is what it is. I look like a quinceañera. <laughs> oh well, okay, we're gonna deal with it. I'm going to first be trying out the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. I made sure to get the moisturizing one. She has both a matte one and a moisturizing one. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god, this primer just came out like water. Literally like water. Is this supposed to be coming out like that? <gasps> what the fuck? It's water? What? I'm so confused right now. I've never seen a primer come out just like liquid. How? Oh, how am I supposed to put this on? Oh my god, it's almost like a serum. That is so weird. I do not like that at all. Oh my god, I cannot get over my bun. You know, this is why I can't try new hairstyles because I was trying to go for like a really cute, you know, messy bun and... <laughs> It literally looks like a loaf of bread on top of my head, so. You know, we're just gonna go ahead and just scoop my little head up here so you guys won't see my freaking bun. God damn it, this primer is so messy. This video's already going so wrong. Look, <gasps> shut the fuck up. Are you freaking kidding me right now? That is disgusting. Oh my God, so you're telling me that the product was separate? <gasps> no. What did I just apply to my face? <gasps> oh my god, that means that the product was separated like in the bottle. I literally thought that it was a liquid primer and now it's coming out as a thick like moisture. It's so thick now. Bitch. Ooh. Huda Beauty, we have to talk, girl. Mmm. That's very alarming because this product I picked up at Sephora. So this wasn't even sent in PR. This is one of the products that I'm gonna go pick up. And I'm pretty sure if they probably sent this in PR, it wouldn't have came out like that. Usually when products do that, it means because they're expired or they're going bad. Like we're off to a rough start. Okay, so now we're gonna try the foundation. Let me go ahead and shake this before we get, you know, another little mystery in here. I got the shade Toasted Coconut. I hope it's my right shade. Kind of thicky, kind of runny. I've heard great things about the foundation and the baking powder. Not so much any of the other products besides their like eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how this works. I hope this isn't too light for me. Oh, okay. So straight off the bat, I can see. Is it straight off the bat or straight off the back? Straight off the bat? Bitch, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can see that this is really, really full coverage. Like, really full coverage. Um, I think I applied a little too much because it's looking a little cakey right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really emphasizes texture, I feel like. I wouldn't recommend this for people that have really bad texture. I feel like the consistency is really thick. All right, I feel like this foundation matched me. However, this does look darker in the bottle if we compare it to my face. I look really, really pale right now. You know what else? I don't know if it was that water shit that I put on my face, but my face feels really like, you know when you put on a mask and it feels really tight and you like don't even want to talk because you feel like it's gonna crack? That's what my face feels like right now. Dang, I was really rooting for this foundation, but I feel like it just does not look good on me. I feel like it almost even made my skin look dry. I feel like my skin looks really, really dry right now. Not cool at all. Okay, moving on to concealer. Hopefully the concealer is good. 
All right, mixed reviews about this concealer. I got the shade Coconut Flakes. Okay, I like the applicator. It feels really cold, so it kind of makes it feel like a really bougie concealer. Now, let me tell you, Huddy Beauty is really expensive. I have never really knew about their prices until I went out and bought four products and two brushes, and it ended up being $170, and I was like, whoa. I, I wanted to go all out and give this a full-on review, so I even bought the brushes. The brushes were great. Okay, so actually this side was supposed to be for concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this little swirl right here. This is a little stippling brush. Don't see the point of this brush either, um, because it does leave strokes, so I feel like just going in with the Beauty Blender is perfectly fine. I'll probably use this side to cut my crease or something. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and try out her Tantor, her Contour Bronzer Cream. I don't think she had any like actual powder bronzers because I didn't see any there unless I'm just blind as fuck, but I, I didn't see them there. Um, I'm gonna try to use this concealer brush to pick some of that product up. This one is in the shade Fair, so this is the lightest one they have. Oh, the foundation is like coming off as I add this cream contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to just Blend this out with the same brush. Mm. My brush is like getting stuck as I'm trying to contour it. Let me try to use maybe a beauty blender. I'm really pounding my face so hard right now. I don't know if y'all could see, but I've never had the issue where you can see the little pores right here on my nose. It's all like kicking up all around my nose, on my under eyes, and it's already emphasizing my smile lines as well. Um, and then over here, it's just really muddy and blotchy. And the pimples over here are just really, really emphasized as well. Mm. We're going to go ahead and move on to the translucent powder. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in and bake. So far, I noticed that the powder is really silky, really thin. Wow, these products have a really strong scent. They kind of smell like perfume and roses, which I like. Makes it feel really, you know, nice and luxurious. Okay, well, in the meantime, I'm gonna charge my camera because the shit's about to fucking die. Uh, and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So while my camera was charging, I just got, you know, really impatient and decided to just do this freaking eye. And, you know, it doesn't look that bad, but I can do way better. And I feel like it's just the base that is like messing me up. Oh. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Tickle. All over the lid, just in patty motions. Now I found that in some areas, the shadows kind of oxidize. Is that weird for me to say that an eyeshadow oxidize? You guys will see what I'm talking about. So you see how it looks really like light pink over here and it looks super dark over here? I feel like uh, the more I go into the inner corner, the lighter it gets, it's so weird. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping out. Maybe I'm just delusional at this point. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade down here, which is called Secret. Really fluffy brush. I'm gonna kind of diffuse that color. I'm not gonna lie though, these eyeshadows are really, really pretty. They're really pigmented. Um, I feel like you would just have to use a really nice base in order to get like the best payoff because I don't think the foundation and the Huda Beauty concealer are a good base. Um, Cause I feel like if I would have used the Tarte Shape Tape concealer or, you know, a P. Louise base, I feel like these would be, you know, blending out better and they would be a little bit more pigmented. So now I'm going to go into the shade Love Bite, which is kind of like this plum purpley color looking type of thing. And I'm going to be adding this to the outer corner. Now I had some issues with this one in the other eye where it just did not want to stick to the outer corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like it'll stick over here because there's concealer, but it doesn't want to stay on top of the other eyeshadows. Now y'all, I'm gonna, I use the Huda Beauty concealer once again to cut my crease. I don't recommend it cause it's really, really thick. And it's like, once you apply it, you won't be able to like play around with it. Usually you're able to play around with the concealer, like the Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which is called Daydream. I'm using my own brush girl cause mm, no, these are really, really pretty. In general, I do feel like the palette is worth it. So I'm gonna go back into Love Bite and I'm going to deepen up this crease a bit. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera and then I'll come back to do the lashes. I went ahead and I mixed 
the number 14 and the number 17 lashes. Now, girl, I was shook because these were individual lashes. So I had to put the individual, I had to put the individual lashes on top of this Fox Mink lash in order for it to look dramatic. But you guys know me, I love dramatic lashes and isn't as dramatic as I would want it to be. The only issue I'm having with the lashes is that the band is really hard to to kind of you know play with i had to add a lot of glue in order for this inner corner to stick because it kept lifting also in the inner corner i went ahead and i added this shade up here which is called crave now they don't have a powder bronzer or blush that i'm aware of so i'm just going to go ahead and do my regular bronzer and blush so we can go ahead and move on to the highlighting palette which i'm very very excited about it's really really pretty her eyeshadow is popping and the highlight looks really popping in the packaging so i'm excited for that oh my god my foundation is already coming apart <gasps> stop it right now and like i have all these like little bumps not even bumps they look like little holes i've never had this issue with foundation before where i have like all these little holes visible all over my skin wait those are pores what the fuck am i talking about <laughs> none of the products have worked out for me besides the eyeshadow i feel like the eyeshadow did come out pretty decent now something that i'm very excited about is a new setting spray this is the resting boss face this was inspired by drag queens so i'm very excited to try it out just blows out like a little spray mm, Ooh, that smells so good y'all i'm telling y'all Huda Beauty has really strong fragrances. This literally smells like perfume in a bottle, which is, you know, good because you'll be smelling good throughout the day. But like I said, if you have really sensitive skin, just be careful with that. I'm going to go ahead and use the 3D highlighter palette. This one is Golden Sands, and I'm going to be using Seychelles? Seashells. Wait, is that Seashells? I don't even know. <laughs> It's a really, really pretty highlight. It almost gives you that like wet skin look. My nose contour is so harsh right now, but it does not want to blend out. <gasps> but... Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this one more time. Mm. Oh my God, stop it. Oh my God, that didn't blend out well. I really like the setting spray, okay? The setting spray is bomb, not gonna lie. Okay, so now for the lips, here we have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner in the shade Trendsetter and then the Huda Beauty Lip Kit in the shade Wifey. So I'm going to go ahead and align my lips, recharge my camera because she's dying again. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing her. Okay, now we're going to add this on top. Oh, I saw them Sephora lights be catfishing me. Because in Sephora, it looked like this really, really gorgeous, like, nude. Just even looking at it. Probably it's just because of my skin tone that it's looking this pink. Alright, guys. So that completes the final look. I'm going to be completely honest. A lot of these products, you know, did disappoint me. Especially the primer. That was just really bizarre. The foundation just personally was too cakey for me. And you guys saw how it emphasized my texture. You know, any breakouts that I had, the little um, holes, it just... I don't know what happened there. I feel like the concealer just you know, really made me look old. I don't know if that makes sense. I do, however, love the highlighter. I do love the palette, it's amazing. I love the setting spray. I do like the lips. The lips are cute as well. The lashes, I mean, they're not my cup of tea, but they're still really, really pretty. Oh, and the powder, the powder is pretty bomb, not gonna lie. I'll probably use it with a different foundation, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Turn on my post notifications if you want to win this palette. Comment when done and you'll be entered to win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you buy any products after watching this and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.